in trouble. I need help. You know who I need. I don't need a copyright strike. That's who I need. Um, uh, yes. So, we have got the 118th scale green light Hollywood A Team van, baby. The 83 GMC Vandora weathered version. Um, I didn't even know this existed. Uh, I have uh, my weathered Mad Max car, and that's pretty cool. But, here we go. Removing value from box toys since 1979. Here we go. Um, Let's pull her out. Oh, okay. Oh, we got some, some plastic back there protecting. It's took us from the little scritchy scratches. Pull her out of there. Let's put that box aside. Somewhere. And then we've got the bottom. And we've got some... Uh, come on. Oh, okay. Let's get in here. Let's get in here and... Uh, there we go. Here's our little exacto knife. There we go. There we are. There we go. Ew, schmoogy, spoogy. They use some schmoo. Okay. So it's pretty cool. Okay, little wipers. Windshield's pretty darn dirty. This looks nice. Doors open. Interior is pretty cool. This this is what I'm excited about. Let's see if this works. Ah. Come on. Come on, does BA not grease the door tracks? Okay, it opens. It opens. There's some cool stuff inside of there. Does the back open? What? You're shitting me. The back doesn't open. It's got bullet holes. Maybe they hit the lock. No, it doesn't open. They put stuff back there for to detail. And uh, inside wall of the van looks looks like looks like your standard I have free candy van on the inside there. These doors open. So I heard I heard some uh, informatio well opinions that the green light a team van is more accurate or the most accurate 18th scale a team van um this damn thing cost me like 80 bucks came out of florida a very good ebay seller packed it extremely safely um yeah it's, it's pretty nice 2018 made in china Used under license. They got the exhausts kind of there. That's that's okay. It's all right. I love the you know the side pipes. We you know what we 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 need an exemplar to compare this to. We we need we need the other um, finest available 18 scale diecast 18 van. So there we go. Ah, there we are. Okay, we've got the Hot Wheels Elite. Okay, this is again from my stash from years ago when I bought all these at normal, you know, MSRP type pricing. Okay, yeah, there's a top and a bottom. Okay, there we go. Sorry to hit the camera, fellas and ladies and anything in between. Um, there we go. Pull the top off. Already... There's a major difference here. We have those nice little antennae. The antennas are there. Um, now, the interior, the seats, and the... Oh, let's get this out of here. Oh, careful. Careful. She should just... She should just... Eek out of there. Careful. Okay. Somebody said... That the green light van is nicer than the Hot Wheels. I don't know if they're referring to the Elite or the non-Elite. I'm not quite sure about the non-Elite. Um, but we've got some pretty straightforward differences here. 
Um, first of which, now I don't have the clean version, I have the weathered version. The bottom lights on these headlights are not yellow. On the Hot Wheels they are yellow. Uh, these are orange, those are orange. The California license plate, actually I think the blue on the license plate in this one's a little more accurate. Um, the GMC grills, I, the whole front end on this, on this Hot Wheels Elite looks better. These bars are super thick on here. These have the proper bull bar width to them. I mean... Now, if I was comparing a clean to a clean, you know, we'd have a very easy way to do this. Now, okay, here we go. We got the, the quad exhausts on both sides. And on this one, not happening. Although... Bottom of the engine, transmission, the cross members, rear axle, that all looks a lot better, but we just have a standard single exhaust out the side here. So, which one is correct? Could they have had different exhaust styles on different seasons? So the, two, the, the dual quads are awesome. Those dual quad exhaust tips are really cool. Now as far as the, uh, sorry, I got my, I got my, my meat smudges on here. Um, the, uh, Okay, yeah, you know what? I forgot. Do the back doors... Come on. Open. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure... These guys are supposed to... Open on the back. So the sliding door does not operate on the Hot Wheels Elite. Which, you know, that's... That's a little disappointing, to say the least. Um, we need some precision... Picking, prying thing, so we'll get out our little precision bits for it to take apart like smartphones with. And see if we can't... Does this open or not? There we go. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, I was like, oh, Ian, you're about to cause some major calamity. So on the inside of the van, the recording and storage equipment is butted right up to the walls. On the inside, there is an interior covering the bare metal inside inside the van um, that equipment in there definitely looks more like a TV show um, the front seats have you know uh, contrast upholstery uh, upholst upholstery whatever you know what I mean uh, yeah the sunroof super clear uh, if we had the clear version that might be clear but Actually, looks like it's tinted plastic. Yeah, this is going to be tinted no matter what. Wiper blades. Way fine. Oh, is my windshield? Is my windshield loose? This is what you get for knocking around in a box for half a decade. Um, the sun visor. Oh, we'd have to go back to some uh, TV footage. So the only real questions I have here. Well, the only real hit to the to the. Hot Wheels is the lack of a working sliding door, but the back door is open. This one, the sliding door works, a little clunky, but the back doors don't. And the interior is definitely, uh, urgh. plain Jane. This, this stuff doesn't go all the way to the inside wall, the van. It, yeah, not, a, not, I don't know. Yeah, the interior's definitely not as nice. Uh, on the green light. The interior is way nicer. Way nicer. On the Hot Wheels. Oh, those armrests. Oh my god, do they move? So the armrests on the green light. Let's see if those armrests move. No, they don't. Let's see. Ah, I never even tried this. Ah, uh, no, the armrests don't move. The seats are just a little rubbery. So they had a little give. Um... The steering is way tighter on the Hot Wheels. And then the wheel and tire package. Not even a competition. These wheels and tires are way, way more realistic on the Hot Wheels Elite. I mean, yeah, they're, they're just, you know, dirty or not, those are, those are, they don't look right. The, the 18 van did have pretty, pretty small wheels and small tires. 
And you know, it's interesting. We what what is more screen accurate? Um A Team Van. Let's see what Google Image has here. Images. Um Great shot of the eight oh come on. So this says original A Team van up for sale. There's side exhausts. But there's also antennas. This CB antenna should be a little longer, I mean, but it's a toy. Do 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 oh the bottom lights are clear. Not yellow. So uh, Hot Wheels might have taken some artistic license having these bottom lights on the headlights yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has the quad exhausts. Okay, so the quad exhausts are definitely, and I'm just I'm just trusting that this is a real, a real A Team van we're looking at online. The A Team van is for sale. But this one, this one doesn't have them. But who knows if that's an actual screen-used A-team van? You never know. It's the internet, people. Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. We're trying to find an image. Um, you know what? If we get some TV show stills, that would be the best. But yeah, I mean, okay. So possibly wrong exhaust on this, um, and. This visor seems more correct. It, I don't remember the visor covering half the damn windshield on the TV show. That just seems wrong. Yeah, it's a little weird. To the way, this is a very cool A-Team van. Don't get me wrong. I feel it was probably worth the money. It's got the little bullet holes. It's got the mud and the dirt. Um, you know, what, what if was, was B.A. some, like, master bodywork guy? Because, like, that van got bullet holes in it, like, every few episodes. Like... Did he have, like, a discount card with Mako? Or or did he just, like, patch all those holes and repaint the van himself every single time it got shot up? The ridge in here, that may be a little more accurate, but the size, overall size of this visor is... That's massive. This may be a little small, but I know this is too big. Um, yeah, it's just... I like this one better. Okay, you know, that's a little subjective. There's some objective things that are better. The interior of the Hot Wheels van, way nicer. Um, the wheels and tires, definitely considerably more accurate. The exhaust system on this green light is cool as hell, and quite possibly the proper exhaust, more than likely the proper exhaust to have on the van. Um, you know, the, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And you know, these yellow headlights, while not accurate, are cool as hell. And I'm gonna. We could we could scour the the screen grabs from A Team, and uh, you know the super fans out there will will definitely comment on this. And I I hope you do. Um, are those yellow lights accurate? Um, it, it, the visor issue being the giant and the small. These wheels and tires. I don't think there's much of an argument there. These are way way better wheels and tires. Like not even close. The overall underneath of the van is way better. Oh, yeah, we forgot to, uh... Can we even open the hood on... Yeah, we should be able to open the hood. Right? There we go. We use this plastic, guy so we don't bust anything up. Let's check out inside the... Okay. The engine bay. Yeah. That looks pretty... That looks pretty good. Let's check the green light. Oh, no, we can't, because the green lights doesn't open. All right, back doors. Interior, better. Antennas, better. Uh, you know, it might only had two on the TV show, and this one has three, but whatever. Engine, bay, it's there, and it's accessible. Wiper blades, finer, nicer. These are okay, but these are a little better. Um, what else do we have? Rear view mirrors. Okay, they're... they're they're dirtied up because this is the dirty version. So I won't hit you for any points on that. But the mirrors on this one, they're just nice and mirrory. Uh, running boards. Running boards look good. Fender flares look fine. Um, 
I have a little itty bitty, like 1 24th scale 18 van at my office. I'm gonna bring this guy to work. This will be my office 18 van. This one will stay in the vault because uh, it's is, it is too nice to risk with the cleaning people at work. But um, yeah, that single, that single exhaust on the driver's side. It's an odd place for a single exhaust coming out the side. Um, that single exhaust is suspect for sure. Um, hell, why don't we, we just hack the exhaust off of this guy? Oh no, they got some, they got some goop on my, they got some goop on my exhaust pipe here. But it's on the bottom where you don't really see it. Oh, so the green light, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't be that easy to hack that exhaust onto this thing. Uh, 2011 Fox 8384 GMC panel van, it's called. Made in China, of course. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, uh, the, the exhaust thing is cool on the green light. The, the Hot Wheels Elite is still my favorite. Um, and the, the non-dirty green light is going to be identical to the dirty green light, other than the paint apps applied over what was a pristine A-Team van. Um, I highly doubt that uh, even if we look at the unmessed up paint quality on the green light, the license plates are definitely better, but um, this, this paint app on there versus the paint apps on the Hot Wheels, the Elite Hot Wheels just have beautiful paintwork. Um, <clears throat> and they're both approximately the same exact dimensions. Otherwise, a little slightly different tilt to the side view mirrors on the uh, on the Hot Wheels. Um, they're a little sleeker, the mirrors on the Hot Wheels. Uh, most of the details on the Hot Wheels are a little finer and sleeker. Like uh, that, the, real, the rear spoiler. Look how fat it is on the green light. It's just like oddly thick. It's it's oddly girthy. The the Hot Wheels one definitely looks more appropriate. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen. I knew you're not gonna get. Well, I was hoping, but I was I was skeptical that I was gonna get as high caliber a diecast collectible from Greenlight as I did from Hot Wheels Elite. I don't know what the non-elite A-Team van from Hot Wheels is like. I don't, I don't have it. I never have. We're back in frame, Ian. Sort of. Okay. <clears throat> so, tell me what you think in the comments. Which one you like better? Aside from, you know, the weathered thing, which some people hate. Um, aside from that, which, which one do you think is better and why? And why am I wrong about something? Because I'm usually incorrect on... Uh, one or two uh, details here and there, and I I did zero proper research before this of looking for screen used A team vans and and uh, going for screen grabs of of A team van throughout multiple seasons even or different episodes because you know there's always multiples of you know screen used vehicles like uh, I mean the Dukes of Hazard went through 19 million um, they they were running out they were flying around in the helicopter over California to try to find more Chargers. Um, but I don't think they had the same problem with 18 van. They just, and these things were a dime a dozen. They were everywhere. It was probably the lowest cost, uh, of any TV production for, uh, you know, main character vehicles was the 18. They're buying cheap ass panel vans, giving them a slap of paint and a little bit of work. There was a couple of hero vans. I got all the bells and whistles. And that was that. Um, either way, I'm still happy I got this. This is cool. So I'm happy Greenlight made it. I'm happy people are still making... They're still producing, you know, stuff from the IP of of the 80s. Uh, it's great. It's great we still have companies making that. So if anyone doesn't have a Hot Wheels or Hot Wheels Elite 18th scale, I understand. You go online. I get it. They're expensive now. Um, you know, like I said, I bought this back in when they came out, when it released. I had it on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store. So I got it, you know, for normal MSRP. These are affordable and attainable. These are sub $100 on eBay all day long. Um, go get it, man. It's a, it's a great van. I like it a lot. It's got some details the Hot Wheels doesn't have. It's got some things that are more like more better. And I, I mean, I'm not a big California fan, but that plate definitely looks more like an old school 80s California plate 
Um, bullet holes, optional. The interior on the green light, not nearly as nice. Most people are going to display it, you know, just on a shelf like this. You know, that's it. No one's no one's going to peer into the interior and, and scrutinize it. Um, yeah, we're done with this. Uh, unboxing completed. Mmm. All right, Hannibal, this bud's to you. Mm-hmm. There we go. Um, uh, unboxing uh, and a completely unprofessional review of the Hot Wheels Elite and the green light weathered 18 van 18th scale die cast they're both heavy they're both awesome they're both cool and uh yeah every i, I wanted them both so there we go um yeah enjoy yeah the fender flares are so much better on on this one these are yeah okay S sorry i i'm gushing you, you confirmation bias is that what they call it if someone doesn't have this and they only have the green light Maybe that's why they're saying the green light's better. Because uh, we all get confirmation bias. The trick is we have to understand it um, and accept that we may have it when someone maybe calls us out on it. Because, uh, you know, like, you could just say, I think the Air Team is the best TV show ever. And someone will be like, Knight Rider and Airwolf. And, ah. Like, you're all right. All of you are correct. They're all the best. Um, uh, we happen to all have different favorites and top top 10 lists and things, it's fine. Uh, you know, we have to agree to disagree. And I'm agreeing to disagree with whoever said this thing is way nicer or more accurate or whatever. Um, I, I disagree with you, sir. I'm not calling you wrong. I simply disagree. I love the Elite. Just a little bit more. It's just, it just it looks like a real friggin' van a little more than a die-cast model of a van. Even if there was a dirty version. Um, there we go. So that's that. And, uh, you know, come back next time and see what else I've wasted money on, uh, that the wife doesn't necessarily know about. Um, you know, this gray is not really metallic enough. Also, I've always dinged the Hot Wheels for that. This one probably went the clean version. I'll bet you money this paint, this, this top gray is probably a little more correct. Either way, that's it. Oh my God. 22 minutes of me just talking about two toys. There we go. That's what my world's come to. Have a nice day, everybody.